Gimbal units used to steady out footage are not limited to expensive setups or for those with action cameras. If you have a smartphone with a decent camera, now you have several options too. And here we have one such solution, the UO Play Smartphone Gimbal. Three axis gimbals are no new technology and the UO Play Smartphone Gimbal by AI Bird will help create that cinematic smooth motion from otherwise shaky smartphone footage promising to be the most stable platform yet. Within the rather attractive packaging, users will find the gimbal itself, under which is a user guide, a set of four 900mAh batteries, bearing in mind only two are used at any one time, along with an external charger and a USB charging cable, and finally a metal weight used alongside larger smartphones. Upon first glance, the entire gimbal looks rather substantial in size. Even so, it feels seriously robust thanks to an almost entirely aluminum construction. At the very bottom is an integrated quarter inch 20 thread for times when you may wish to mount the unit onto a tripod or onto extension poles. Above this is a hand grip finished with a soft rubberized texture alongside some simple branding, ensuring the handle is easy to grip and comfortable to use during longer recording sessions. The gimbal's controls are within easy reach for the user's thumb, with a four-way control stick alongside the main power button, as well as a button we don't usually see on smartphone gimbals, a shutter button. Since the unit incorporates Bluetooth connectivity, once paired with your smartphone, you have no need to touch the smartphone to start and stop photo or video capture. This convenient thumb button will do that for you. Integrated into the top is the first of three motors, and coupled with the remaining two motors, these work in unison to provide stabilisation across the pan, tilt and roll axis. The arms holding each of the motors are constructed from an aluminum alloy that feel both strong as well as light. Matte black stripes add a pleasing visual aspect and finish off the unit. As it stands, the arms do look quite large, but when you consider the gimbal can hold large smartphones, such as the Galaxy Note or iPhone 6 Plus, it's pretty understandable. Talking of smartphones, a single clamping plate, lined with a soft rubber as to protect your handset, can be pulled apart in order to securely grip the handset. Once in place, the hold is very firm, with no wiggle room whatsoever. With larger handsets, like this iPhone 6S Plus, Attach the included counterweight to the opposite side in order to help balance the gimbal a little more and reduce the stress on the motors. All that remains is to remove the battery cap at the bottom of the unit, insert two of the four included batteries, and replace the cap. One set of batteries can provide up to four hours of shooting time depending on the modes used, although if that wasn't enough, a second set is included. Holding the power button for two seconds places the unit into standby mode after which another quick tap of the same button instantly calibrates and readies the unit, placing it into a semi-following mode, indicated by the red flashing status LED, allowing users to pan while the smartphone follows in a smooth motion. The roll and tilt axis are locked, keeping the handset level, although the thumbstick can be used to make small adjustments as required. A double tap of the shutter button switches the gimbal to fully following mode, shown with a green flashing LED where the panning and tilting axis are unlocked, so the smartphone camera will follow in both directions smoothly, while the thumbstick allows adjustments to the tilting axis only. Finally, the locked mode, indicated with a blue flashing LED, locks all three axes, keeping the smartphone pointing in the one direction, while allowing small adjustments to tilt and pan with the thumbstick. Now there is a final shooting mode too, activated with a triple tap of the right button, and this rotates the gimbal, placing the smartphone into a portrait orientation. I'm not sure why you'd want to shoot video this way, but a great option for taking portrait shots with no blur. Also note that should you wish to use an action camera, the clamp will hold a GoPro quite well, and in the vertical mode users are able to use it just like any other action camera gimbal. Not ideal due to the gimbal's size, but a nice option in case you ever need it. With the smartphone paired to the gimbal via Bluetooth, a single tap on the shutter button will start or stop video capture. Not only does this mean users don't have to reach for the smartphone to start or end capture, it also reduces the extra shake at the beginning or end of your video since you're not tapping the screen. Above all else, it makes the one-touch operation very comfortable. 
Available as an optional extra is a wireless remote, again connecting to the gimbal with Bluetooth technology. A joystick on the front mimics the stick on the gimbal itself, while a single button at the top acts as the shutter button, making remote recording incredibly simple. When it comes to real-world usage, the unit will stabilise movement across all three axes. It can't completely stabilise up and down movement like some professional units can due to the lack of the fourth axis, so you still get that slight up and down bobbing as you walk just like any other three axis gimbal. But bearing this in mind and with a little practice, you'll generally be able to reduce that motion with a slight tweak in your walking style. A video shot while walking is completely usable and pleasant to look at, and the gimbal makes a world of difference with regards to stabilisation. The gimbal will also help create smooth pans in both horizontal and vertical direction by slowly following your movement in a smooth and even motion, resulting in almost professional level pans. Of course, the reach of motion is limited, so you can't rotate 360 degrees in the one sweep, but you can of course turn around yourself and let the stabiliser do its job. All in all, the gimbal continued to perform perfectly well throughout testing, providing the ability to capture some truly smooth and steady, almost professional looking footage. In addition, the battery life is great and the single set easily outlasted my shooting session, even with a larger and heavier handset. The different modes will take a little getting used to, but once mastered, users can switch between them with ease, while the Bluetooth connection and shutter button on the gimbal itself made it incredibly easy and comfortable to use with a single thumb. At around $340 at the time of this review, the Europlay smartphone gimbal isn't the cheapest smartphone accessory out there, but it's a must-have for anyone looking to capture serious video footage with their smartphone. The design itself is great and caters for a large variety of smartphones on the market today, while the added vertical mode allows for the use of action cameras, increasing the production value and quality. With a great overall design and excellent performance, and superb battery life, those looking to shoot great quality video with their smartphones will certainly want to consider the Europlay smartphone gimbal. If you can stretch your budget to that premium price point, it's certainly a great companion to any smartphone.